All right, thank you very much. Um, and so I have no other cards on the public hearing portion of the budget, but I'm asking the city clerk, I've got cards on four and five, which are the voting portions. It's appropriate to take testimony at that time, even outside of the public hearing. Okay, is anyone else here to, provi to provide testimony on the public hearing portion of uh, the budget adoption? Going once, going twice, the public hearing is now closed. Uh, now we need to convene a special meeting of the city council, is that correct, Mr. City Clerk? For the purpose of considering adoption of the final 1415 budget. Do we need to call the roll on a special meeting? We're good to go? Okay, all right. Our city attorney has done the research, we're good to go. All right, so item number four then uh, is um, a proposed adoption of the final 2014 operating funds budget of the city council. Do I have a motion to approve item number four? We have motion, do we have a second? Second. We have a second. I have a few cards on item number four. Mr. Richard Ray, do you wish to provide testimony on item number four? Uh, Dee Dee Barker is in favor, not wishing to uh, speak. And uh, that's it, then there's some cards on item number five. Mr. Richard Ray. It's been a long and involved process to get to this point, and it's one that has not been a lot of fun for anybody, the public, either any of you, certainly not city staff. And while I suspect that you all are thinking that this is the end, I would recommend that you not look at it that way. This is only the beginning, because the city of Phoenix as right now staring, and uh, while I might never uh, disagree with Ms. Rogers. In point of fact, the projected numbers are just merely projections, but they are conservatively projected numbers, so it's not wrong to use projected numbers. What is wrong is to nitpick each one of these little things that you're gonna have to do, because from now until probably all of your uh, sessions and times and opportunities to serve this council, you're gonna be having to battle this exact problem. Phoenix, certainly the state of Arizona, and the United States is right now forced to deal with a lot of things that it didn't have to deal with before. Today we do, and, and all of the people that work for the city are having to work and suffer and work around and make do with less than they ever had before and you are all going to have to deal with the consequences and unintended consequences of decisions that are very, very difficult. It's terrible to have to worry about things like whether you charge a senior more money. It's awful to have to do this, but from now until I suspect a long time, you're gonna to have to constantly be looking for ways to increase revenue. You know what I think about the absence of food tax and the reason why you didn't want to do it and my disagreement with that. You know how it looks for a lot of people, but it, it no longer can it be ignored that there's an absence of revenue, there is a need to find every single thing, whether it's getting that vacant lot so that the pony can be stable there when you come downtown or whatever it is, that was a pony, wasn't it? Uh, but whatever it is that you get as much revenue as you can and it cannot be looked at as any other way. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ray. I have no other cards on the item noting that uh, Dee Dee Barker would, didn't wish to speak um, uh, on that item. So uh, with that, we have a motion in favor of item number four. We had a second roll call. Oh, I'm sorry, did, uh, council members comments. I apologize. Did any council members provide comments on it or, or we can move to the roll call? Roll call. To CCO. No. Gallego. Yes. Gates. No. Nowakowski. No. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Yeah, so the item passes on a five to four uh, vote. Next item on the agenda is item number five, proposed adoption of the final 2014-15 capital funds budget. Do I have a motion on item number five? Move approval. We have a motion, do we have a second? Second. second. We have a motion, we do have a second. We have one card on item number five, Richard Ray, would you provide testimony on, nope, same, same gist of what you said before. 
Any comments by members of this council? R uh, roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes, that item passes unanimously. Item number six is proposed adoption of the final 2014-15 reappropriated funds budget. Do I have a motion on item number six? Moved to approve. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, no cards on this item. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Uh, so now we're concluded with the special meeting of the Phoenix City Council. Now we'll go back into the, re oh, make it official, we're, we're out. Uh, now we're back into our regular portion of our uh, meeting. Uh, there has been a request to spend the rules on item number 81. I, I think it's because of the timing, we're gonna try to whip through as much of this as possible. So I guess I would politely request the council, if you have something passionate you wanna say, obviously uh, say it, but let's try to get through the remainder of the agenda as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know if, we, if you had it. Did you have Lee's talk? Did Lee was here at the time? No. All right. So let's. Oh, I apologize. So let's get. Let's just go in regular order. Then let's go with liquor licenses. We have a motion on liquor licenses. Oh. I. Yeah, we have lots of I apologize. We will take 81 out of order. I thought it was at the request of the councilman Gates. It is not. It was another reason. The horrified look on the, their faces spoke volumes. So. It is for the convenience of folks that are uh, that are here. Uh, and um, you may. Motion to suspend the rules and change the order of business. Take item, item 81 out of order. Second. second. We have a motion and a second on item number 81. Do we have cards on 81? No. Comments by Councilman Gates? Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, just wanna take this opportunity. This is an item for the uh, grants for our block watches and uh, I'm not gonna speak about all the other districts here, but we have fantastic members of the Block Watches in District 3 and the Phoenix Neighborhood Patrol, and these grant monies make a big difference. And I wanna thank uh, all of our members in District 3 for the great things that they do. We have a wonderful police department in the city of Phoenix, but they can't be everywhere, but our Block Watches are. So uh, I wanna uh, encourage my uh, colleagues here to vote in favor of these grants. I wanna thank everyone who serves on the grants and for the great work that they do for us. Thank you, Mayor. All right, thank you very much, uh, Councilman. Any other additional co Councilman Williams? Uh, I just want to also thank the Block Watch Oversight Committee because going through a couple hundred grants is a lot of work and it's, it's a tough job and you did a great job, so thank you all very much. Thank you. Any additional comments by members of the, um, uh, of the Council? Uh, I will take it for granted that each council member thinks that their block watches in their exactly. district are the best, so we don't have to go uh, district by district. We can just take that as a given. Uh, and I, as mayor, love them all equally. All right, uh, so we have a motion. I, we don't, we need a motion on 81. I apologize. I thought there was a motion. I'll second. I did the motion to take it out of order. I move yeah. approval item 81. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 That is roll call, I'm sorry, roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Especially, Williams. Yes. Especially in District 5. Yes. Yay for District 4. Woo! <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're going to be here a long go time. Number one. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. <laughs> yes, that item passes unanimously. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Block Watchers, for coming down. Next item is the liquor licenses. Vice Mayor. Uh, Mayor, I move approval items 7 through 21. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any cards? All right, all cards not to speak in favor. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? It passes unanimously. Next item is item number uh, 22, a li proposed liquor license in District uh, 7, taquitos and beer. Councilman Alkowski, oh, what's your pleasure? Your team is withdrawn. Your disapproval of this um, liquor license. Second. We have a motion and a uh, second. We do have um, a, mem a member of the Phoenix uh, Police Department uh, here to provide testimony, I believe. Officer Washburn, are you here? Do you want to quickly provide testimony on this item? Thank you for coming uh, coming down. We, the reason I'm asking is we want to make sure we get this on the record so it's on the record for, for purposes of the Liquor Board. Thank you for coming down. Yeah, of course, yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and uh, 
Uh, council members, uh, good afternoon. Detective Washburn, uh, City of Phoenix Police Department. Uh, I had the opportunity to do the background investigation on the Series 12 restaurant liquor license for taquitos and beer located at 7710 West Lower Buckeye. The uh, purpose of the uh, liquor license, uh, they currently have a Series 12 liquor license there. They are removing one member and adding uh, two more members. Uh, when I first received the application, I conducted the background investigation on all the members. And uh, one of the uh, members, Mr. Uh, Sebastian Randolph, I discovered has a uh, current felony conviction. Uh, he was uh, arrested in December 2012 on a uh, felony warrant for uh, fraud uh, charges, and he pled guilty in June of 2013. Uh, Arizona Title 4-202.D uh, states that Mr. Randolph is not eligible to hold a liquor license in the state of Arizona. The code states that the no license shall be issued to or renewed for any person who within five years before application has been convicted of a felony. Uh, furthermore, I've received no cooperation from the applicants uh, when uh, requesting the financial uh, uh, documents uh, for, for uh, normal review. Thank you very much, Detective, for taking the time to come down. It was important to get that on the record. So the council has made a motion in opposition, I'm assuming based upon the police department recommendation that the uh, 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 felony convicted applicant is not eligible to get a liquor license uh, in the state of Arizona. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, opposed. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. The liquor license is, is uh, uh, recommended for denial by a unanimous vote of the city council. Uh, Vice Mayor, on item 18, you want to clarify something for the record? Yeah, item 18 was withdrawn. So for the record, item 18 was um, uh, withdrawn. We apparently make it as clear as we should have previously. Next item is item number 23. Uh, a staff recommended disapproval liquor license in District 8, Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Councilman Gallego, what do you want to do about Fuzzy's? Uh, the District 8 staff and I were able to meet with the owner and address some of the issues that led to staff's recommendation. So they have submitted us uh, extensive information about um, the programs that they will be implementing to uh, make sure that they control liquor sales. And they're also addressing some of the neighbors' concerns about uh, noise and other impacts. And based on them going above and beyond in terms of controlling uh, liquor sales, at their facility, I'm going to go and move. Go ahead and move approval. Okay, so the motion is for approval. We have a second, noting that uh, the applicant is here, obviously in favor, not wishing to speak. Uh, uh, Mr. Nationals is here. Nations, excuse me, Randy Nations, uh, Miss Gatia representing the uh, Gatia Murphy Anderson, and then DB Christensen, all in favor. We have a motion. We have a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, that item, uh, the recommendation for approval passes unanimously. Bingo license in District 5, Council Valenzuela, Long Haven Estates Recreation Hall. What's your pleasure? Is item 24? Yeah. Uh, item 24, motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, we are now on to uh, uh, G ordinances. We need a legal title to be read on G ordinances, is that right? On item 27, do you need to read it or are you okay? Please. Item 27, ordinance G5934, an ordinance amending chapter 36, vehicles and traffic, article 12, section 36-158, schedule one of the Phoenix city code relating to local speed limits. All right, do we have a motion to approve item number 27? We have approval item 27. Second. second. We have a motion, we have a second. No cards on the item. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Next item, Vice Mayor. I move approval of item 28, uh, just as long as I have one comment. We have motion in favor of 28. Do we have second? Second. City Clerk needs to read the title. Item 28, Ordinance G5935, an ordinance amending the Water Resources Acquisition Fee Ordinance, Ordinance G5197, adopted July 2nd, 2008, as amended by Ordinance G5665, adopted November 16th, 2011, to delay the effective date of the Water Resource Acquisition Fees. All right, thank you very much, Vice Mayor. Uh, thank comment? you, just for clarification, uh, this was a fee that was enacted before my time on the council. It's never actually been put into effect because of state legislative action. 
and uh, all we are doing is delaying implementation of the fee. I guess is, could you just confirm, one of the staffers could confirm what I just said is accurate? A yes or no will do. Mr. Uh, City Manager, why don't you start and then hand over if you want, please. Uh, Mayor, Vice Mayor, uh, Catherine Sorensen, our Water Services Director, and Alan Stevenson, our Planning and Development Services Director, both of whom have responsibility for uh, this, this fee, can answer the question. Hi, Mayor, Vice Mayor. Yes, that is correct. We are just delaying implementation of this fee. If council does not approve delaying implementation of this fee, it will go into effect August 1st, and it will increase. So the delay prevents that from happening. Thank you. All right, no cards in the item. Roll call. DeCicio. Yeah. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yep. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Uh, that item uh, passed the City Council. City Clerk, are we ready for the uh, ordinance and resolutions? Yes, Mayor. Um, we have cards on items 30, 35, 37, 41, 65, 86, and 87. All right, excellent. With that, do we have an omnibus motion for the City Council? I move that items 29 through 103 being ordinances S-4095A through S-41032 uh, and resolution 212333 be adopted except items uh, 29 uh, AD, 29AH, 29Z, 30, 30B, 32, 33, 34, 35, 37, 41, 43, 65, 67, 86, 87, 95, and 102.1. Uh, Mayor? Councilman Cecil, please. Do we have 57 and 67 in there? I couldn't hear. I'm sorry, you know what? I left those out. I apologize. That's okay, thank you. So adding 50. Actually, I could hear. Uh, <laughs> you said it's 57. And 67. 67 was already in there. Sorry, I okay. left out 57. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All right, any, any cars on those? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes, item passes unanimously. 29U, do we, do we need to do a motion to withdraw on that? Uh, 29U, did we get that? I have, I have that as a request to withdraw. 29U is withdrawn. Did we already get that? ID2, it's not in what, oh, I guess it was. Could 29U you? is withdrawn. Excellent, so let's do a move on to 29Z. Vice Mayor, do you have a motion on 29Z? Um, let's see, move to approve 29Z. We have, we have a motion, a second. Councilman Gallego, you have a potential conflict? You want to declare that? So I'd like to declare a potential conflict. Could we take? Z is before yeah, AD uh, under our, the way we number them, okay. So 29Z, uh, we have a motion, we have a second, noting Councilwoman, Ga Woman, Councilwoman Gallego's potential conflict, she will not be participating. Yes, let's do one, please. So uh, Vice Mayor wanted to add the other ones where Councilwoman Gallego had a potential conflict. So I move uh, approval items 29Z, 29, uh, 30, excuse me, 30B, 43, and 95. I have a potential conflict. I'd like to declare a potential conflict on all okay. of those items. Okay, so uh, we have a motion on those items. But I only moved 30 B. We have a second, noting Councilwoman Gallego's uh, potential conflicts on those items. Roll call. Can we get a roll call? Sit. Forty-three is mine. Okay, we're going to hold out forty-three from that motion. And do all the other ones besides forty-three? So we have a motion. We have a second. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Next item, I believe, is twenty-nine A D. Vice Mayor. Uh, I pulled it, so if somebody Okay, so if someone else wants to make a motion, this is dues for the Western Urban Water Coalition. Do we have a motion on that? Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Comments by Council Warren, or Vice no, Mayor Warren? Vote, vote's fine. Okay, any other comments by members of this uh, body? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. 
Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Yes, that item passes an eight to one vote. Let's move on to 29 AH and any, any additional items where Councilwoman Pastor may have a conflict. 43. Move approval 29 AH and uh, item 43. We have motion, do we have a second? Second. Councilwoman Pastor, you want to declare a conflict? Yes, I declare a conflict. All right, she has a potential conflict, will not be participating. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Item number uh, 30. We have a motion 30. Move, move approval item 30. A motion and a second. I believe we have a card on item 30. Ms. Barker, do you uh, te provide testimony on uh, payment ordinance for utility charges? Yeah, thank you, Mayor and Council Diane Barker in District 7. And, well, you've got to pay for energy, but we're paying too much. And you notice that I've got a sweater on now. I go in and out maybe more than some people and can stand this, but we had a policy, I think it was when Paul Johnson was here, was for the gentleman not to have to wear the suits. Now, I will, you know, patronize you and say you look handsome, but do we really need it? When I step outside here, the, the, uh, it's not this temperature. And they're doing quite well with the short sleeves, our security force out there. So this is what, and thank you, Councilman, you're dressed that way, you know, more comfortable. So this is what, all over the city, we have decreased, you know, I think the, the, our uh, number of employees, but I remember paying this figure last year, 70, almost 72 million for electric and gas. We've got to have more competitive ways within the departments to see the departments Thank will you. decrease the costs. It has to do a lot with fit fitness, and I understand that uh, from some of the police officers that we, we have a program where you get paid for your walking. I think the more you exercise many times, the more you don't need to expend as much energy, so it's all holistic. And as far as the water yeah, goes, we just authorized in the last item uh, $628,000 to AMWA to, for a, um, some policy type of a development for urban water. If that has anything to do with how that we can go into the water department, I know that we have done a lot to cut down on water, but we need to look at these operational expenses very closely from here out. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Barker, for your testimony. So we have a motion in favor of 30A. We have a uh, second. Councilman Gates? Yes. Um, thank you, Mayor. I, I agree with, with uh, Ms. Barker's comments. Um, when you look between 30A and 30B, that's $88 million a year in uh, uh, utility costs. Uh, so this is something that I would like to see definitely in front of our, our subcommittee of focusing more on this. I know, again, the, the mayor and I have been supportive of bringing a chief sustainability officer on board here at the city of Phoenix, and I look forward to the opportunity to work with that person, work with my colleagues to address these costs, because again, we're gonna have another difficult budget next year, and these are some areas where we can work to make our buildings more energy efficient and bring these costs down. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much, uh, Councilman. Other comments? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Next item, Vice Mayor. Third. Uh, I would move item 32. No. Oh, 31? No, I actually, I, I'm sorry, I'm not doing 31, so. 31? We're gonna do 31 then. 32, uh, okay. I, I moved item 32 Second. for approval. Is that the, is, are we on 31, 32? Yes. 32, I apologize. So the motion is for 32. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any comments by members of this council? Roll call. Jacicio. No. Gallego. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Mayor Stanton. Yes, item passes on a seven to two vote. Next item, Vice Mayor. 
I, I would move item 33, even though I'm not vice mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Um, th we have motion for 33. Do we have a second? Second. Second. We have a second. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Can I just ask a question? Um, Councilman DeCicio, you pulled item 33. No, I, I was, I'm sorry, I pulled, I'm sorry, I pulled item 32, I thought. I've got you, you I've did. got you down for 33. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm voting no, but just. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, it was 32 I was going to vote against. Okay, we had 33 here. I'm voting no. Sorry to be a Budinsky. Sorry about that. You also pulled 34. Just. And 34. Okay, so um, we have uh, the continue the roll call. Waring. I it, voted no. Is it no? Mayor Stanton. Yes, yeah, so I think that item passes on an eight to one vote. Move item 34? 34. 7 it. to 2, I apologize. 7 to 2. Move no, no, I voted yes on 33, Mayor. Right. Did, I'm moving it, approval of uh, 34. Okay, so I think only Councilman Ware, or Vice Mayor Waring voted no on, on 33. I so I think it was an 8 to 1 uh, vote. Now we're on 34. Do we have a motion on item number 34? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. We have a <laughs> second. Uh, are there any comments by members of this council on item number 34? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Yes. So that item passes eight to one. Item 35. Move approval item 35. Second. The motion. We have a second on item number 35. Mr. Leonard Clark, did you provide short testimony on item number 35? Thank this you, Mayor Council Members. The, uh, uh, it has to do with the uh, initiative, pension reform initiative. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council Members. Um, no, I, I am here to tell you as a citizen of Phoenix, my name is Leonard Clark, and I am for what you're doing. We are going to save money. I think it says somewhere in the order of $500,000 by having this agreement with the uh, Maricopa County Elections Department. One concern that I do have, though, is the title of the ordinance saying that it is to conduct a uh, conduct of the special election for pension reform initiative to be held on November 4th, 2014. But I believe in the second paragraph or whatever it says, you know, also having the option, which I'm not saying that's wrong, but having the option for you guys, we, you're probably going to put something else on the ballot. And it just, it just seems kind of misleading to have that title when also it should be saying also you're going to possibly as a council refer something to put on the ballot, not just this, not just the citizens initiative. Um, and uh, a question I have, and I'll sit down after asking this, is even though we're working with the, it's going to be on the same day to avoid confusion, one of my concerns is I know that City of Phoenix, when it has its own polling stations, we've had voting centers, consolidation of voting centers, but is uh, Maricopa County only going to be providing the tabulating services and the monitoring, or are they also going to be, I think this is the case, are they also going to be providing the uh, ballot I mean the uh, polling stations, because some citizens, hopefully you'll put this out in your publicity pamphlet, uh, might be confused because if you're just voting in a city election, I believe you, you, it's not like when you vote for a county election or state where you have to go to a specific precinct, you can go to any city polling place. So you can see some of the issues yep. here and I wanna get as many of our citizens out to vote as possible. I know there's a publicity thing. So I'm just wondering, can you just let us know for sure the, the county will be providing the polling stations? I mean, it's probably a given, right? City so. clerk is uh, shaking his head yes. Maybe you can officially just say the, what the situation is there. Yes, Mayor and Council, um, this item is for to contract with Maricopa County to place the city item on their ballot. It does include, at this point, only the pension initiative has been referred to go on that ballot. The council would have the option to amend the four ballot and still refer other items, which would also then be placed on the county ballot but the county would be conducting the election to be on their ballot. They would be using polling places and we will conduct outreach and include in the publicity pamphlet the information about that voters have to go to the one designated polling place for this election and the locations will be included on the publicity pamphlet when it's mailed to the voters. 
as well as on the sample ballot mailed by the county. Thank you, and hopefully we can get right. as many citizens to participate in this election as possible. I hope every one of you as council members will be out there, whether you're for it or against it, because we've got to stop these atrocious low rates of people not being able to vote or voting. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so we have a motion in for 35 a second. Mayor? Oh. Oh, Councilman DeCesar, go right ahead. Just a quick question on staff. Is there a cost savings? I, do, I, I get the, uh, the, um, the fact that it's going to be a lot better for our citizens to be able to vote, but is there a cost savings had we done this ourselves? What would have it costed the city if, had we done this on our own, separate of the county? Pass me, Mayor. Uh, Mr. City Clerk. Mayor, Councilman DeCicio, um, in this case, because it is a statewide election and the state, the county, other jurisdictions are all paying the cost of the election, there is a savings to the city of uh, somewhat over $500,000 to place it on their ballot. It costs about $1.1 million for the city to do a voting center election, for the county to do an election for us at a time other than on the general election ballot, the cost is about $2 million. And then ours is about one one on our own. Correct. It's so the real savings occur, it's just for the future too, I'm just kind of curious, they, the, the real savings occur when they consolidate. Uh, Mayor, Councilman DCO, yes, the savings are when it's a regular state election and all of the state and county and everybody are paying for the election as well. Right, we could, they're sharing the cost. Okay, thank you, Mayor. All right, thank you. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Noah Kowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Uh, next item uh, is item number 37. Vice Mayor, do we have a motion on 37? Over approval item 37. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Dee Dee Barker, you had a question on item number 37. Downtown Phoenix Inc. Uh, per, uh, uh, contract. Yep. Yeah, the day tried or answered it for me, Mayor, and I'm in support. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. William. Yes. Waring. Mayor Stanton. Yes, so that item passes unanimously. Uh, item number uh, 41. 41 is the Phoenix Sister City Agreement. There are a motion on item 41. Move approval. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Ms. Barker, uh, you're in favor. Do you provide testimony on this item? Definitely support the sister cities. It's important that we have uh, this kind of participation in the community for the youth and international relations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mayor, I need to make sure that it stands as corrected. The motion is as corrected. And uh, that's what we vote on. Any other comments on members of this council? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes, passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda, according to mine, is item number 57. Do we have a motion on item number 57? Move approval. Second. second. We have a motion, second on 57. Councilman DeCicio, do you wish to make comments? This is the vehicle wash services contract. I do, Mayor, and I want to thank staff for doing this type of innovation in the city of Phoenix. I think if you look at this, you're actually saving 50% of the cost. And this is exactly the type of things that we should be commending our staff for and doing. It's a fantastic savings. Um, they're going to be coming in with, you know, a, a considerable amount of, of dollars coming back to the city of Phoenix. Well, not coming back, just not expending. So I want to thank staff for putting this together. I think they've done a fantastic job at working at this. And this is the type of example that we want to keep moving forward. So I want to thank staff for that, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Other comments from members of this council? Roll call. William DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Item number 65 is next. We have a motion on 65. Move approval item 65. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Um, Greta Rogers, you had a comment on 65. 
replacement of kitchen equipment. Mayor, Council, the only reason I'm speaking on this is because at Pecos Center, which opened in uh, 2006, um, maybe it was earlier than that, but anyway, it's just a few years ago, we closed the kitchen there. It's a full restaurant quality kitchen with Viking appliances, the Cadillac of appliances. There must be fifty to $100,000 in that kitchen not being used because when we hit the skids financially, the people who worked in that kitchen, I think they had two, two full-time and two half-time employees. Uh, they were either canned or they, a couple of them went to other locations. But that equipment is sitting there unused and it's practically brand new. So look to using that equipment instead of just going out and buying new. It isn't doing anybody any good idle. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Rogers, for your testimony. Uh, Mr. Uh, City Manager, uh, Bretta brings up a good point. Uh, what are we going to do with the equipment at Pecos uh, in light of its good condition? Mayor, I'll ask uh, Deputy City Manager Janovich and Human Services Director Gallegos to respond. Mayor, members of the council, we, when we consolidated the kitchens and outsourced the meal program, we did look at the equipment that was available to move to other locations, and we did move some of the equipment that was feasible to move. The items that we're proposing today uh, to replace at some of the kitchen sites are, uh, I'll ask Mr. Gallegos to identify the particulars of the actual items that we're looking to purchase that are not able to move from other kitchen locations. Uh, Mayor, members of the council. Uh, first, uh, these are uh, dollars that were offered from the Area Agency of Aging. Uh, so these are not uh, city dollars. And they offered uh, for one-time purchases because they had funds available. So we took uh, that offer up to replace a walk-in freezer, steam tables, and industri industrial cooking kettle uh, at three of the operating kitchens that we have, as uh, Ms. Donovich uh, indicated, with our food service program. Uh, so. Uh, the, we have already used and will continue to look at other kitchens that we have, such as Pecos, that was indicated for any uh, equipment uh, usage whenever we do have that opportunity. And I might just add quickly that the mm -hmm. steam tables at the Pecos Senior Center are utilized, so we would not be looking to move those from the Pecos Senior Center. Thank you. Any further questions? Any other questions? Perfect. To CCO. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Yes. Next item is item 67. Do we have a motion on 67? Second. second. We have a motion. We have a second. Councilman DeCiso, do you have comments? This is temporary staffing services contract. Yeah, again, um, just a couple things to staff, too. I mean, we have close to oh, probably over a thousand employees that are on temporary services. Staff, is James there, Scarborough? Is he at the uh, meeting? Mayor? Mr. Scarborough is here. He's present. I, you have a question? Well, I just want to commend him for the hard work. I know he put an incredible amount of work into this. And just on its face alone, the city of Phoenix is going to save over 8% on the temporary staffing. The question I've got of staff and, and uh, City Manager Zerker, how is this information going to be getting out to the department heads that they're going to have the ability now to literally look at all the costs associated with the staffing of the temporary services that we get or the temporary employees that we get and be able to pick and choose and to be able to bid out with those individual companies. I, I don't think he's probably got a plan in place this very second. But it's something that you may want to look at. We had that conversation with Jim Burke. They've got, I think, close to 500 temporary workers that could benefit from this as well. But I do want to thank Scar uh, Jim Scarborough, uh, James Scarborough for doing what he did. I know it was a lot of work. It was an incredible amount of time that he put into this. 
He was our um, employee that we got from the state of Arizona. <laughs> turns it turning out to be an incredible asset to the city of Phoenix, Mayor. So I just want to give him a lot of thanks. I want to give staff a lot of thanks. But I also want to see what the plan is going to be now to start looking at how do we create these savings. Okay, uh, great. I'll, so, Mr. City Manager, uh, the question is, how do you plan to let the department heads know about this, uh, assuming we support this today, uh, about this, the um, impact of this contract award? Mayor, we'll, we'll put together a quick report that will describe what we will do and get to distribute that to the council. And, and Mayor, one of the things that's going to be important in there to point out is that they can ask for bids from these individual companies. You'll see that some of them charge 42% and others are at 20%. So now an individual department head can say, I've got these many employees, how do we get, the, you know, what are the costs going to be? Because we already know that the baseline's 20% for some, so we might be able to even drive those costs even lower through competition that James helped create. Excellent, all right, so uh, we have a motion, we have a second, roll call. Decisio. Yes. Gallego. Gates. Yes. Noah Kowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. Yes. Mayor Stanton. Uh, yes. Next item on the agenda is 86, is my understanding. Uh, do we have a motion on item number uh, 86? This is agreement with Valley Metro Rail for operational cost for right, light rail service. Move approval. We have a motion. We have a second. Ms. Barker. Valley Metro Thank you, Mayor Rail. and Council, Diane Barker, District 7. As you know that I am a multimodal person, I believe in using transit and I do use the rail. And uh, can I speak on the next one also because it has to do with money for trans, uh, uh, RPTA 87? The so two of them, can I speak on? Okay, no, we can't. So just, we'll have you come back for that next one. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, okay, so on 86, the thing is I know we need to definitely take care of the maintenance. We built this, and we need to take care of it. But what I'm asking that you really look closer at these costs here. Um, I'm very concerned that what we're doing in the future now is we want to extend the present model of this at-grade rail. We're going in and getting near $23 million in operational costs. Pretty sure that it, it's going to come out of what, Transit 2000 or possibly maybe the general fund, okay. But the thing about it is, is that it's at the expense basically to the flexible bus system and the fact that we made an agreement where we pick up costs, it's in a separate agreement from this, for the cities of Tempe and Mesa and front their costs. The city of Phoenix has been the real big dog in this and we can't sustain the at pain for the accidents. The car insurance does not cover the accidents. We keep going on the mantra that the rail is never ever to blame for these 250 accidents a year. It's the cars, well guess what? Had we not put the rail in the middle of the road the way that it is, then they wouldn't have had the car accidents. So I'm coming to you. We're having to pick up a large part of these accidents that the car insurance is, and we really need to look at what we're doing here on funding the at-grade light rail. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so a motion, we have a second. Count Vice Mayor, did you have comments on this item, item 86? Yes. Any other comments, members of the council? Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Yes. The item passes eight to one. Item 87. Do we have a motion? This Move. is a ch contract change order oh. with RPTA. Move approval. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Second. Uh, Dee Dee uh, Barker, qu uh, comment on 80, uh, 87. All right. Um, on 87, we're paying the regional public transit for certain services, 30, 45, 56, 61, 77, and 108. That is within the Phoenix borders. But I'm looking at what we're doing even with our PTA, and I can verify this. I needed to get a new bicycle since mine was ripped off over at City Transit, so I need to go to Gilbert. The 
I would be three hours on doing local routes, routes like this. So the best value in the valley has been for years, and little uh, advertised, the express bus system. I get on the 533. I am out at Superstition Springs in 35 minutes, and I'm sharing this with you, is that I didn't have to pay anything. So folks, how many other people didn't have to pay anything? We, our PTA's fare box didn't work. Now I'm not going to, as the old joke goes, well, gee, did you, you know, say, hey, I'm not getting on here until we fix it. No, I got a free ride out there, folks, and I got a daggone good bicycle out of the deal from riding there. And I'm thankful for the services that we're giving. It was excellent in the ride. But the thing about it, we need to regroup and all of the valley transportation, I think it's coming online, the city of Phoenix needs to be aware of it, is, is that we can't sustain how much subsidies we are paying in this. We need to go a lot more to private, public partnerships and have it advertised. Those seats, it was packed on that bus, but guess what? There were some seats that were you're unavailable, they had them strapped up. If this was a private operator, they would have daggone had those seats available and they would have done other things to bring in money. We need to start looking at that. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a motion. We have a second. Roll call. DeCicio. Yes. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski. Yes. Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Yes. Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Yes, yeah, so that item passes on an eight to one uh, vote. Councilman Waring voting no. Uh, next item, Vice Mayor, did we do 95 already? Uh, the, uh, we did. Uh, we did. Yeah, we did 95. Excellent, so next item uh, is? It is item 102.1, uh, move approval. We have a motion on 102.1, do we have a second? Second. We have a second, Vice Mayor, do you have comments? No. Any comments, member of this council? Roll call. DeCicio. No. Gallego. Yes. Gates. Yes. Nowakowski, Pastor. Yes. Valenzuela. Yes. Williams. Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> Waring. No. Mayor Stanton. Uh, yes. Uh, so, wait, so there were two no's? Yes. So I think it, the, the, the motion passed is six and a half to two and a half? <laughs> 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 All right, so next item, we're on new business. Uh, next item is item number 104, uh, issuing an RFP for downtown retail uh, space for lease. Councilman Nowakowski, do you want to make a motion on 104? Okay, I'd like to um, approve staff's recommendation for item 104. We have a motion, we have a second. Dave Roderick from Downtown Phoenix Partnership is here in favor of uh, the items. Does any member of this council have brief comments on item number 104? All in favor of 104 say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, next item, can we do 105 through 113? Yes. Okay, please. I'm sorry, let's yep. do the rest. Uh, move 105, items 105 to 113, holding out item 106. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any cards? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Item 106, Council of Valenzuela, you wish to make a motion on item number 106, application for COPS grant for two, F, FY 2014. Uh, this is a very important grant to apply for. I think uh, we've all been talking about the importance of uh, hiring police officers. Last year we were successful in uh, being awarded the largest COPS grant in the nation, uh, a little over $1.8 million for 15 police officers. This grant would be larger. This grant would, uh, would be for 25 uh, police officers. We're applying for up to $3.12 uh, million. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have uh, the same fortune we had last year. Uh, I want to commend every member of this council and uh, our city manager, police chief, and everyone else involved. Uh, you know, th th this would be very vital for, for our neighborhood, so uh, I am absolutely supportive of this. And I'll just mention the very next item, uh, 107, that is for a micro grant uh, of $100,000. Hopefully we will... Uh, uh, be awarded that one as well. We were awarded a micro grant last year of fifty thousand dollars for our business uh, uh, a business plan that, that PD put together. And uh, this hundred thousand dollar grant is for community policing, a study police 
uh, shootings and implement a cutting edge uh, strategy to re reduce those types of crimes. So uh, advocating for our fair share. I, I move for approval. We have a motion in favor of 106. Uh, we'd already voted on 107, but comments were also on 107. We have a second on item number 106. Second. We have a motion. We have a uh, second. Any co cards on item number 106? Uh, Leonard Clark, you should test testify on item 106. Thank you, Mayor. My name is Leonard Clark, and uh, uh, as you know, last several council meetings and through what we've been going through with the shortage of police that we have, some people would disagree with that, but after watching our police officers uh, physically have to go through everything they do, having shortages, sometimes having to man posts when there should be more than just one officer, uh, I'm just very glad you're doing this. I want to thank the city manager, assistant city manager, for sending me a letter regarding this subject that uh, I'm constantly asking that we have more law enforcement. I know a lot of people say, oh, we don't need more police, it's too much big brother, but you know what? Uh, I think Phoenix uh, is leading the way uh, because our police are doing community policing. They're not doing like in some other areas where you just get in your police car and you're just driving through neighborhoods. So I think this is a, another good example of why we do need to apply for grants in Washington, D.C. to just say we shouldn't have funding to go there and get these grants because it's going to bring us more police officers, but I just implore you, I support you on this, but I implore you to continue to try to get more officers um, because yes, I do believe we need more police officers, but we also need community policing with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have a motion, we have a second. I just wanna say thank you. Councilman Valenzuela has from day one on the city council been an advocate for the city and uh, participating in the COPS grant. We got away from a few years. We got back into the game, we were successful in it and uh, we're gonna have more police officers on the street as a result of that and hopefully be successful on this one. So I wanna thank him for his consistent leadership. Uh, Mayor? Decisio, Councilman DeCicio, please. Yeah, we also ought to give a big thanks to Councilman Nowakowski, head of the Public Safety Subcommittee, because this has been on his plate for quite a few years as well. And I know he's been very active at pushing for this. So I think between Councilman Valenzuela and Nowakowski, I think they deserve a lot of credit. And I wanna thank him too for moving forward on it. Thank you very much, uh, Councilman DeCicio. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Item number 14, 114, did you already withdraw that item? Or do uh, we have a motion to withdraw. Second. We have a motion to withdraw 114. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. There will be no further business before the council. Any other cards for citizens' request? This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>